You need to get off the streets. The agency knows my secure locations, and they will be searching for us. This is the safest place I know. Can I come with you? You need to hide, till I know what's going on. Oh, it was you who called? Yes. Oh, you must be Victoria. Come on in, child. Thank you for your help. This girl is important. Take this. We will take good care of her, my son. Diana said you need that necklace. Don't lose it. Will you come back? I'll be watching. Hello everyone and welcome to Hitman Absolution. This is the first time, not the first time we played this on the channel, but the first time I actually am going to get here in the new age of 2016, commentating it. I think last time I just played, I don't know if I commentated. I know a lot of you, just like a select few back in the day when I had like 500 subscribers, really enjoyed this. So I enjoy this game a lot, so I might as well come in here and play it. Unfortunately, as you can see, I do not have my green screen set up because I moved my room around. So, unfortunately, as of right now, uh, I just won't have the green screen. I have ordered one on Amazon, so that should be coming. Uh, it'll go behind me, so that way we'll go back to the chroma, chroma key, just like before. And it will look beautiful. Until then, I want to get you guys new episodes. I want to play new games. I want to play games I enjoy. Uh, what better to do that than doing games that I used to play, you know, by myself and stuff before I even started recording. So, I used to play Hitman Blood Money. Not sure if any of you played that, but that was one of the most open world games that got me intrigued with all of this type of gameplay i mean it was just it was so much fun you could do whatever you want however you want to do it you could become a murderer or serial killer all right so the target is in the middle right there he has multiple guards around him so we're gonna have to figure out a way to get that guy there's also i believe we have a another target let's go ahead and check some briefing Birdie. okay we Once need to eliminate the king of chinatown plan. that's what he looks like as you can see he's right there off to the right she is talking but i kind of already know what to do there's a prologue to this all that stuff kind of wanted to skip all that to give you guys the nitty-gritty and uh um, you know okay that's not what i wanted thank you for that i already know i could do this see like it's still a prologue as it's going on um so basically we're just gonna keep we gotta get that evidence wonder if we can get that once he leaves we'll go and we'll pick up that evidence thing and then uh, follow him to a hidden alley. As you can see, he's really blocked off. Let's see what they say if I try to get up there. Okay, trespassing. Whoa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did not mean to do that. Let's buy some cucumbers. Okay, they're suspicious as hell. I'm sorry. I heard he walked away. I apologize deeply for any misdoing. Okay, they're not that angry anymore. So let's go ahead and just walk around the map. The, the one thing that was so cool about this was the vast, or not the vast, but the, the, the density of which the population that they had. Just so much going on. So many people moving around. Uh, and that's what really, you know, brought me into Blood Money. It was the fact that you could 
do the mission how you wanted, do all that stuff. And, uh, I'm trespassing again. Alright, what we need to do is we need to find a way... He's actually not even paying attention, so what I can do is... Let's get in disguise. Right behind this dude. Now let me see my special ability button. Which one's that? The right one? Yeah, that's that one. So basically, when using a disguise, you want to hold down the right... I'm using a controller. But if you, you want to hold down the right bumper, which gives you the ability to sneak past... So say you walk past another chef. They know who the other chefs are, you know what I mean? Like, you can't really go around that. So, what you want to do is hold down the right bumper so that way it blends you in. Uh, right now... Oh, the target... Who's this guy? I think this is another target right here. Wonder if I can get up here. Am I trespassing? No, I'm not trespassing anymore. Let's go ahead and grab this evidence. Let's just take that and... Oh, you know what we could do? Can we grab the tray? No, we can't. That would be cool if we could spike the, uh... Let's see, to rich the taste of coffee beans should conceal any foreign substance. What? The rich taste of co- oh, okay, so basically, it's indicating that if I want to, um, poison him, I can do that. Let's see how I open my weapon wheel. Okay, I don't have any poison, so what I'm gonna need to do is go look and see if we could find some poison. I've actually never taken the time to really slow it down even in this game every game I play it's like I've just smoked crack or something and I'm ready to just go in there and do what I can do uh, there's a lot of cucumber stands everywhere okay let's uh I wonder if we can go down low let's go down low and see if there's any how do I get down there oh wait that's okay I understand it's basically just pointing out that that's a point of interest uh let's see here where did our target go he's like in the abyss somewhere but I've kind of Lost tracks of them. Let's go ahead and speed walk a little. We need to find poison. Poison is our best bet. And then we could spike his drink. And uh, we can kind of do it as stealth as possible. Usually when I get in here and do this, it's pretty bad. I end up, um, you know, having huge gun shootouts. And it's just, it's not the approach that Hitman wants people to take. So we're going to sabotage this. Oh god, he was looking right at me. Oh, I'm trespassing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I should have waited. Okay. I am so sorry. No, 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 no. Disguise blown. That's what I'm talking about. All right. We're going to try a new approach to this, and we're not going to try to spike any drinks or do anything like that. I got intel that the guy, the, the target that we're trying to eliminate, likes to hang out with his friend above the square. So basically, we're going to this place right here. As you can see, it's one of the only open buildings. So I assume this is going to be our best bet. So let's see if we could even get in here. Oh, okay. This is where I got shot last time. It makes total sense. All right. Let's go ahead and sabotage this. Then we're going to get out of the way. God, I got seen from like both directions. Okay. We're going to wait for him to start trying to fix that. And then we're going to sneak past the guy, which will make it so we can go up into the uh, apartment up there. Okay, let's go ahead and sneak past this guy like anyone would go that close into the damn thing. Okay, we are here. Let's see, this is probably going to make it upstairs. Hostile area. Oh, fuck. I got to knock this dude out. Okay. No one knows what just happened. Um, fuck. That's the guy he has to meet. I could also take his disguise, too. Probably would be the best idea in this situation right now. And then I'm going to drag his body over into this crate. That way we can kind of hide all the evidence. So that way when the when our target does walk up the stairs, he doesn't notice anything suspicious. There's no blood or a body. Um, and actually, we're going to be disguised as a person that he hangs out with. So let's go ahead and enter here. Let's see what we have. Maybe there was a sniper rifle. You never know. Let's see here. We got a bottle. Oh my god, a sniper rifle. I knew it. That is dope. Okay, so let's see if he's even in the target area right now. So there actually is ways to do this. Where is he? Where is it? I'm like... Okay, it's right there. Target's no longer in the area. How do I uh, just close my weapon? Oh, there we go. Let's go down and holster. There we go. Um... We got the weapon in here. We got the evidence. Okay, the evidence was in the first run, so I'm still going to need to get the evidence. Which I actually could get, considering the fact that I'm dressed like this. 
and I just am curious where my target's at. He's probably either by his car or making his way here because he's not in his gazebo stand anymore. He's not even being guarded by people. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to make our way down then and we'll, let's see if we can sneak past this guy down at the bottom wearing this disguise. Oh, wow. Can we go over here? Where does this lead? Nowhere? Okay. Glad I went over there. Let's go see if we can get past this guy, the security guard. We're going to go ahead and hit our disguise button. Okay, he didn't even give two shits. <laughs> we must look legitimately just like him. That's fantastic. Okay, target's back in the uh, area, which actually now we would be a pretty good time to shoot him. Let's go ahead and collect that evidence really quick. That way we can kind of just get out of here. We're going to start burning it, I can guarantee. Okay, maybe not. Maybe no one knows this guy, and they're just like, oh, this is the same guy we just talked to. Okay, let's uh, let's keep an eye on him. Be easier to just keep an eye on him. Okay, his target is walking off. Okay, he just fucking stopped. Uh oh, he's. I need to leave the king to get some place isolated so it does not get messy. Holy shit, he's following me. Okay, so right now we have the perfect disguise uh, we could ask for. The target is following me thinking that he's following one of his friends. So that's good. We're gonna basically lead him upstairs and then we'll be able to sabotage him. Sabotage. We'll be able to murder him like our target or like our client has uh, requested. Okay, let's go ahead and get upstairs. Basically what I'm gonna do here is hide in here. That way when he gets upstairs we can uh, terminate our target and make our money probably actually do this in a very stealth manner i've never really done it as stealth as i'm doing it right now and i think that'll give it the you know playing pleasure that everyone wants is uh you know an actual playing by the rules i guess you could say you did see me die but that's okay that's okay come on okay now he's here so we're gonna go ahead and sneak up on him oh my god i didn't know what was going oh i just broke his neck that was beautiful Holy shit. Okay. Uh, look at the lines of cocaine. Seems legit. And just cigarettes everywhere. Um, okay. So now we're going to just drag the body. Get that out of the way. Um, so that way we can get even a better score on this mission. We have alerted someone though. As you can see there's a... Okay. And that's gone. We have officially taken out the suspect. Now the only thing we have to do is figure out a way to get past this guy. I would like to be able to take... Oh, you know what I could do? That's it. I'm gonna use this disguise, go back over to the box, sabotage the box, and then get in my uniform. That way I can get an even better... Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and stay right here. Well, I don't know if this is gonna work. I sure the fuck hope so. I don't know how long he stays there for, but let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Okay. Now let's run. Okay, that's not the run button. There we go. Okay, come on. Get up to the damn uniform. Okay. Uh, no. Disguise. Okay, he's still there. 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 And we made it. Holy shit, he looked, though. He's fucking looking. Is he following? Oh my god. Okay. We have made it though. Uh, we have the target eliminated. Let's just check our objectives. Okay, that's not objectives. We need to slide over. We need to exit Chinatown. So we have uh, officially done this level without any major wrongdoings or anything. Let's just go ahead and get a little bit of a run and a skip and a jump. So we can kind of get... Uh oh. Cop is straight looking at me. Gotta watch out. Alright, there's a beautiful exit, and this should do it for this one. I mean, so this is kind of the taster into it. Uh, we have the ability to really do what we want in the environment. There might be a cutscene, so I'll let you guys watch this and we'll finish talking.
So what brings your mean ass to my home? I need information. Well, that's my business. Information. You need information, I find information. And a price, of course. You're damn right at a price. Of course. Girl named Victoria. The agency wants her bad. I need to know why. No, wait, 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 wait. The agency. You want me to snoop around the agency? Were you crazy? Yeah, you crazy. All right, what is it worth to you? Name your price. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> tools. Listen to the city. <laughs> if anyone mentions the girl, you know what to do. I'll call you. No. You do that. Hmm. All right, everyone. So that was the wrap up and a kind of a lead into the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your comments below. Give me feedback. Let me know if there's any other types of games like this that you would like me to try. I'm also going to be bringing back Polecat Plays, which will be jumping into territory of new games, playing it once, kind of. If it's something I'm not sh too sure about, but it's something you guys might like, I'll let you guys decide. Sorry, excuse me, whether or not it becomes a full series. And until then, we'll see you next episode.